There you go, Dad. Thank you, my dear. The John family have lived a life of racism in Britain from generation to generation. Augustus, now 76, has witnessed discrimination both on the streets and during his working life. He completely rejects today's findings. It's not that I was expecting very much, but I, was, I wasn't expecting so little, and so little that's sensible. Yeah. It's very difficult to see how they could come to the conclusion that they arrived, especially given the huge amount of research there is over the years um, of issues that cannot be explained other than by the structural racism that is endemic within the society. His daughter has had her own struggles and has already started having conversations with her 10-year-old. I've had to have discussions with Hope at the age of 10 that no parent wants to have with a child under the age of 16. These images were too powerful for the government not to respond. So Boris Johnson commissioned a team to find out how we can level up inequalities. We want help! We want help! We want help! But even today, there were protests. Students at an academy just a mile from Westminster staged a walkout claiming new rules discriminate against Muslim and black pupils. The school called it an isolated event and are working to resolve the issues. They scapegoat groups within our school. For example, um, his uniform policy doesn't allow afros or any styling of the hair, like in terms of lines. Um, he's put rules on hijabs as well. And so kind of taking the identity away from students. Being young, black and British isn't easy for Adele. She felt hurt by what the government is calling a landmark report. I think it was quite irresponsible. It was kind of like a middle finger up to, towards any ethnic minority because it really just stated we have not listened to anything you've said. The responders giving evidence to the Commission repeatedly described systematic, systemic and structural racism. But the report itself concluded that institutional racism doesn't exist in Britain. A question we put to the government. The report looked at disparities and what was causing them, and it did find evidence of discrimination and bias, but actually quite a lot of the disparities they did find were not to do with racism and to do with things like class, geography, um, wealth and so on. The disproportionate deaths of people from ethnic minorities will remain a legacy of the pandemic. Midwife Beanish feels this report has knocked back years of building better race relations in the NHS. It makes me upset. It makes me feel like I don't have a voice. I feel like I've been silenced because I'm trying to care for and make services equitable for the people I care for, but it's almost invalidating. The publication of this review was meant to be a moment of tightening divisions, but it's clear there is now anger disillusionment and disappointment among those that want to see nothing but solutions. In Zaman Rashid, Sky News.